Hello everyone, this is Bentley, and today we're going to talk about my favorite rainbow fish for all of the most common tank sizes. So a couple caveats here, those are US tank sizes, so I'm going to talk about like your typical Aquion tanks. It's 10, 20, 29, those kind of tanks. If you're talking rimless tanks, or maybe you're in Europe, just try to do your best conversion, um, and I'll, I'll do my best to include how long each tank is just as a reference. So with that being said, let's dive in because some of the things on this list might surprise you. Let's do a couple really important caveats. The goal of this video is to tell you my favorite rainbow fish for each tank size and that is with between 6 to 10 rainbows in the tank. In theory, with some of these tank sizes, you can do more. And where that comes in, I will tell you. But what we want is a good group of each rainbow so we see good behavior and we have happy fish. With that being said, let's start with our smallest entry, the 10-gallon. So 10-gallon tanks, you're really not going to do any big rainbows. Let's be honest here. And this also is going to be a choice for the 20 high. So not a 20 long. These are tanks that are uh, about 20 inches to 25 inches left to right. So not very big tanks. And in this case, this is going to be the one time where I'm going to mention pseudomegills. I think there's two great options for either of these. There's the pseudomegill. Luminatus, which is the neon red rainbow. Sometimes it's called that. Uh, I think that's a really, really cool fish. They're very, very popular. They're becoming more and more available in the hobby. A lot more common in your fish stores. Great little fish. But again, this is a rainbow. Tight fitting lid. Make sure they're jumpers. This, this is going to apply to every rainbow, by the way. Their, their jumpers have a lid. And a kind of a, a second entry in there, not a pseudomagill, but in the same classification is the thread fin rainbow. Uh, these guys just are really, really stunning. They have a really cool display. I think these are going to be better in that 20-gallon tank, but you could still do a small group of about six pretty safely in a 10-gallon if you wanted to. 29-gallon and 20-gallon long. These have the same footprint. They're 30 inches long, 12 inches front to back. And then the only difference is the 29-gallon is quite a lot taller. That would make you think the same fish, right? No, no, no. So 20-gallon long... We're going to talk about Radnocentris. Radnocentris or Natus. There's several different catch locations. Each catch location gives you a really cool color. I think um, the, the one that I think is becoming the most available is the Series Creek, but there are quite a few of them out there. This is not a fish you're going to usually find in a local fish store, but they're pretty available through some of the places like Wet Spot Tropical Fish uh, and, and Aquabid and private sellers. They're much more common. They're becoming way more available. Really, really cool fish. They don't get more than about three inches total. They're a long kind of torpedo skinny fish. Really, really neat. Incredible in a 20 long. Now for the 29 gallon, you could still do Radnocentris, but for me, I'm going to say Melanotania pygmea or the pygmy rainbow fish. There's something really cool about this fish because you can get a big group of them. This is one of the cases where you could, in a 20 gallon tank, uh, in, a, in a 20 long even, but a 29 especially, you could have 20 of these fish, 25 of these fish if you do a lot of water changes, say like 50% every week, or what I would suggest is like 25% every three days. Man, they're just so cool. You've got that like ghoul gunmetal kind of gray color, and they got the big red forehead when the males are lighting up, and they're showing that what I like to call the headlight. Such a cool fish, and they have really great schooling behavior when you start getting those groups of 15 to 20. Man, these things are a lights out fish and they're fantastic in 20 longs, but even better in a 29 gallon. Next up is going to get us, we're going to skip some of the obscure sizes, so don't expect like 33 longs. But next up, my favorite, the 40 breeder. And we'll kind of classify the 55 the same, but let's start with the 40 breeder. This is a 36 inch long tank, so three feet and then 17 by 17. Uh, just fantastic tank. Absolutely phenomenal for lots of rainbow fish in small groups. But in this particular case, we want to get that nice group size. I want to look at more like 10 fish in this tank. And for that particular tank, I love the Kamaka rainbow. Beautiful kind of powdery silver blue color. 
really, really good schooler, becoming way more available. And the best part is they don't get super huge. Now, if you want kind of an honorable mention, something that doesn't get uh, too big, but you could keep in a smaller group, this is where I would start looking at the Chalatharina Alenai. This can be either the Sirwu or the Wapoga. Those are the two most common catch locations. This is a much harder fish to find, but the color, the color is worth everything with this fish. And you can easily do six of this fish in a small group in a 40 breeder. If you're really diligent about your filtration and your water changes, you could look to do a slightly larger group. But I think a group of six or seven as a breeding group in, the, in a 40 breeder, ooh, very, very nice. Now, 55 gallon, we could look at those same fish, but we're getting up to a four foot tank. And this is where we can really, really pack in some bigger boys. Because as you know, rainbows typically get like three and a half, four inches. Now we can start looking at some of those guys that are gonna get that four inch size. And here is where I'm gonna say my favorite of all the rainbows, and that is Bozeman eye rainbows. Now specifically what I wanna look at is the Itinjo or the red Bozeman eye. They're becoming a lot easier to find nowadays. Don't get quite as big as the yellow, the more yellow looking Bozeman eye, which is the Ayumaru. They're just different catch locations. Again, Ayumaru is like the main, the first rainbow fish that was really kind of getting big into the hobby was the Ayumaru Bozeman eye. Atinjo's a little bit smaller. They're gonna get that three and a half, four inch range, but they have that much deeper reddish orange tail, very dark blue front, absolutely beautiful fish. 55s give them lots of room to move, which is great. This is where we can start looking at having a nice group of between six and 10 fish. And also, if you really wanted to, you could breed this fish inside this tank. Now we're gonna start going with more four foot tanks, but we're gonna start getting more gallonage. And this matters a lot because this will un unlock kind of some more active fish and or some larger fish. So this is where we're gonna look at the 75 gallon and the 90 gallon. I think the really the only difference here is that the 90 gallon is a taller 75. The 75 is just much deeper than your typical uh, 55 gallon. It's still four foot long, but instead we're going 18 inches front to back. I love 75s. It's kind of like the, the big boy version of the 40 breeder. And in this case, this is where I'm going to look at one of the most common and popular rainbow fish in the hobby. And with good reason. And that is the turquoise rainbow. Melanotania lacustris. For me, I love blue. I'm a sucker for blue. You guys know that. But the turquoise is a fish that gets quite big. So we need that extra space. Now, the nice part about the turquoise is that, one, the females and the males all have color. So they're all very, very pretty. You don't have to go like, well, only the males are pretty. Or, eh, the females don't look quite as good. The females look almost as good as the males. The only difference is they don't light up in the mornings or when they're trying to court females. But otherwise you really are not gonna tell much of a difference other than their body shape as far as color is concerned. They're all going to be that beautiful dark blue color. Now, because they get a little bit bigger, they get a little taller and longer. This is why we want that extra gallonage, that little wider tank so that they have a little bit more swim space, makes them happier. Absolutely great. In a say 75 gallon, you could look at between eight and 12 of this fish. In a 90 gallon, I would look at upwards of 15. Now, of course, yes, can you have more if you do lots of water changes and lots of filtration and you're an expert with this fish? Of course. But my goal here is this is kind of the first rainbow fish you're going to put into a tank. Maybe it's the first time you're trying rainbow fish. Let's keep those numbers simple. At least six, no more than about 10 to 12. Finally, we're going to get to the, the last kind of biggest, baddest tank out there, and that is the 125. So this is a six foot long tank, so 72 inches left to right, 18 inches front to back, 24 inches tall. This is the most common configuration. You can find them all over the place. Here's where we've got lots of room and we can get some of the biggest boys out there. And you're gonna have two options, but I'm gonna save one in special for one more tank after this that is technically a common size, but not very commonly kept. Here is where we can start looking at some of the largest fish period that are out here. And my personal favorite are gonna be the party animal. And that's the Chalatharina blaheri. This is just a really, really cool fish. And over time, 
they get huge. This fish is going to get five inches on you. They're going to get, the male's going to do this huge, tall body. They're going to look like the hunchback of Notre Dame, but the most colorful fish out there. Brilliant orange red tails. Sometimes they get some pink tones in them. Green in the front half of their body. They're going to light up this like pastel peach nose every time the male's trying to court the female. They're active. They're fast. They're gorgeous. This is a fish that is screaming, give me the biggest tank you can. Give me as much room to swim as you can because I am going to go hog wild. I'm going to party. I love this fish. But there is one other one other thing that tugs at my heartstrings and says, give me a lot of tank. And that is the Glossolepis wanamensis. This is the other fish that I would say for that 125. Just, it gives them lots of room to get full size and let those fins grow out real long. The emerald rainbow fish is one of two of the, the main fish out there that get nice long fins to them. They get a really cool, almost like tattered flag look. It's really, really awesome. And because they get that brilliant dark green color, that emeraldy color, they're unlike any other fish out there. You don't get this kind of color in fish very often, and this is what makes this fish very special. Our final entry is both kind of a special tank and a special fish, and that is the 180 gallon. This is the big brother to the 125. And while not a lot of them are out there, it is a commonly available tank when you start talking the big glass tanks made by Aquion. This allows us to get the biggest rainbow fish out there. And this guy is one not common in the hobby, but if you can get a hold of them, they get up to eight inches long. This is an incredible fish to keep because you can't possibly miss it swimming around. Some of its colors binge almost toward a brown tone, depending on the color. However, there's lots of like little red stripes and iridescences. And this is a fish that like you just have to see in person. It is absolutely stunning, and almost nobody's got it, so it's going to be one of those things where even a good fish nerd is going to go, what fish is that? And that is the Melanotania vanurini. This is just one of those fish you got to trust me that if you get to see them, I have not been able to find them for sale. Now that is, there's some caveats there. <laughs> I haven't actively sought them out yet. And they're not commonly sold. But there are some big rainbow fish heads who do keep them and breed them. And they do get into the hobby relatively often. The other version of this fish that's really close is uh, the Lubon Village rainbow. This hasn't been identified yet, but it has very, very similar coloration to a Van Urani. Doesn't get quite as big. They'll get about five inches. But a little more easy to find the Lubon Village than it is to find true Van Urani just because... They're so uncommon, and where they're most popular, if I recall correctly, is Europe. So that being said, is that the only one you should put in that tank? Well, no, you got a big tank, you can put a lot of rainbows in that bad boy. But for me, that would be like the one species where I would justify the really big tank, because now you got lots of room. Or you could get lots and lots of any of the other amazing rainbow fish we've talked about today. So... I hope this has been helpful. If you have been out there and you've been thinking like, I want to get in a rainbow fish, but I don't know what the right rainbow fish is for my particular tank size. I hope this has helped you. If it has, please give a little thumbs up, comment down below. That helps with all the magic YouTube algorithms. Uh, seriously, like commenting and liking is the best thing to help out any person's channel out there, especially mine. But if you want to do more, consider subscribing, especially if you aren't already subscribers. I think it's like 60% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed, but uh, it, it really does help. It tells YouTube, hey, I really like the stuff this guy's doing. Let's spread it to more people. And of course, if you know somebody who's thinking about getting their first Rainbow Fish tank, share this video. Maybe it'll give some great ideas. If you don't enjoy Rainbow Fish or you don't like tips, or maybe you just don't agree with my list, you think that clearly I've got everything wrong, you can hit the thumbs down twice. I'll understand. As always, thank you so much for watching and stay awesome. All right, so we're, we're after the video and I wanna give a special, uh, I guess, honorable mention that I didn't talk about. If you really wanna try a super cool rainbow that is not pure freshwater, it's brackish, 
20 gallon long is all you need. You can go bigger. I would not go smaller. Just this is a fish that likes to move a lot. And that is the Pseudomilgill cyano dorsalis. This can take almost like full saltwater levels of solidity. So just keep in mind when I say brackish, it does want a good solid salt mix in there. But, but it doesn't have to be full salt. And this fish is super cool. It's blue. It's got it's like bright yellow in its fins. You can't possibly miss it. And it's really underappreciated because it's a brackish fish. And not a lot of people realize that there is a brackish rainbow out there. So, just a little bonus at the end of the video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you'd like more videos like this where I kind of talk about uh, maybe like favorite plants for each tank size or or something similar to this. Or maybe you want to go like, hey, what what's the best of each blah, blah, blah. Let me know. I try to avoid things like top 10 lists, but there are certain things where like I think they're really great for beginners. Like if you want to do a tank that's X size, you can do this fish. I, I, that I actually kind of find some value in. So if you guys like that, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, if you are watching this far, clearly you really enjoy this stuff. Maybe consider becoming a member. There's a little join button down below. It gives you access to all sorts of cool stuff, including a members only Discord. If you're at the uh, rainbow fish level or higher where there's not a lot of people, which means that if you put messages there, you get my attention very, very fast. And I do my best to answer questions as quickly as possible there. So there's a really cool community of folks in there. We talk about all sorts of stuff, not just rainbow fish and plants, but we have a lot of fun chatting when we can. And of course, a lot of it is just a easy way to get your questions answered direct from me. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome.